Hello everybody, hope you're well. Me and the Whippets are out in this beautiful sunshine this morning. Thought we'd come out and have a bit of breakfast, a cup of tea and a bit of toast using this new Explorer 1000 version 2 and their 100 watt solar panel from Jackery. Now if you haven't been around van life for some time or solar generators for some time you were uh, you probably won't have recognised the name Jackery, but I can assure you they've been around for a long time. I think it was 2012 they started to produce products and there was a time where everything was just called a Jackery. You didn't have a solar generator or a power pack, you just said, I need a Jackery. I need a Jackery in a solar panel. And they cornered the market and they've been around since then and keep reinventing new products and this is the latest version, the 1000 Explorer. It gives out 1,500 watts, so 1,000, just over 1,000 watt battery, and um, it's a nice little unit. It's a good, it's got a good battery in it. It's the lithium-4 generation battery, the LiFo-4, and that means that you could use this every day, decharge it and recharge it, and it would last you for 10 years till it dropped down to about 70% capacity. Still work after that period, and the solar panels. They're legendary as well and I'll give you a couple of tips on how best ways to use a portable solar panel if you've got a camper van because uh, everybody stands it up on the stands like that and moves it around as it follows the sun but these small ones these 100 watt um, solar panels you can actually put on your windscreen over your windscreen inside or outside you get a better um, power supply from the sun if it's outside but you can use it inside as well well, the other thing you can do with it is if you've got a wind down awning you can wind your awning down and lay it on top of the awning they're not heavy at all and that gets it out the way stops it being knocked over stops you falling over it and it gives a good area and a good angle towards the sun and if your camper van's like mine where the legs for the awning are actually fastened to the van you can actually move the van around and leave the awning up and leave the solar panel on as well to make sure you're getting the right track of sun so in the morning you'd probably stick that on your windscreen facing east and then as the day goes on you'd move the panel around to get the best sun. But having it on your windscreen first thing in the morning, normally you'd pack your van facing east so it gets the sun in the morning and takes the condensation off your van. And if you put that on the front first thing in the morning you'll get some sunlight as well and a bit of power from it. But these 1000 watt solar generators, these Jackery units that are this size, are a perfect size and they're probably the one you'll use the most you know I've got a real big system in back of my camper van I've got lots of different power packs but these 1000 watts are so good now they can do so many different things they're great in your camper van they're great for car camping they're great for days out and um, if you're camping with, with kids in a tent or just by yourself in a tent you can charge all your batteries your cameras and everything else from it and uh, you can run low power products like this. This is a low powered toaster and a low powered kettle. So literally on a day like this I can sit outside my van, don't need to use any gas. I've got plenty of sun coming in the solar panel. There's more than adequate enough power in this to make myself some tea and toast for my breakfast. It's a really really good way of um, using a power pack of this capacity. They've got a fold down handle on so it's a nice square shape and it's easy to store and it's not over heavy so you can move it around with you so I could be sat here now with my laptop plugged into that and I could be working they're so versatile this size of power pack and probably the most popular size as well and as it proudly says on that box there they've been going for over 11 years and they've sold over 3 million units if you register your Jackery product your Jackery power bank on the website you get a five year warranty what you would expect from a quality company in the box you get a power lead there's no charging brick with this it just plugs straight into the wall and straight into the unit and you get a manual you don't get any car charger with this you have to buy those separately the cable for the solar panel come with a solar panel to use it it couldn't be simpler plug your device in ensure that it's less than 1500 watts that that device actually needs and um, switch the unit on using AC alternating current on this one and if I push that down so that's currently I don't know if you can see it on the camera but that's using about 700 watts 
and it's a very quiet unit. It has got fans in it, but they're super quiet. You do, of course, get the obligatory light, three settings on that, on, flashing and SOS. So if you are working somewhere on a night and you need a bit of light, that will help. Alternatively, if you just want some light around your campfire, it will do that as well. It does come with an app and you can control all the functions on the app. So you could store that away in your garage and use the app to switch your DC on and off, AC on and off, and to see how much power you've got in and how much power's going in. Nice, simple, easy to use power station. Solar panel come with legs. This is a 100 watt solar panel. They do different sizes. And there's a plug in the top here and the cable with jacker is. And I've ever done this on a cable in or actually on the panel in the past where you get USBs actually on the solar panel. So as your solar panel's running, if you just want to charge your phone, your laptop or something from USB-C or USB-A, you can just plug the solar panel in, uh, just plug into the solar panel. You don't need the actual power pack. Super lightweight panel and these fold away very, very thin and they're very easy to store. These will slide under beds, in the top of cupboards, in your garage vertical. So very good design those. And again, Jackery have been doing them for some time. And that's the nice little 100 watt one. It'll take a while to charge up that unit from flat, but it will put power in. Them two look, don't look impressed, do they? <laughs> it's not a heavy user unit for this size of power pack. It's uh, just over 10 kilograms, 10.8 kilograms. I'll put it in pounds down below now. But uh, super comfy handle. They've actually gone to the trouble of putting a rubber grip on there as well, just to make it a bit more comfortable if you're carrying it down to the beach or you're carrying it down to your campsite. But that's very carryable. You could do your workout in the morning with it as well. <laughs> so the battery size of this is 1,070 watt hours. And the the basis of that information is, if you were to plug something in this that took 1,070 watts, it'd use about an hour before this was completely flat. And that's how you work out how things will last for. So the toaster, the kettle, an air fryer, if they're under 1,500 watts or under 1,000 watts, you can calculate how long it would run that for. But an air fryer, 20 minutes, toaster, three minutes, kettle, two minutes. So you get a lot of use out of this. And if you've got a lovely sunny day like this, and you've got solar going, in, don't forget this will take up to 400 watts of solar. It will recharge itself to replenish that for when you need it again. And that's how super light these panels are. As I said, they do various sizes and they just open out like so. Got magnets on to hold them together. Got legs that pull out to enable you to get it to the right angle little waterproof cover on the top there for your power lead and that's a little sensor on there as well which you can line up, line up with the sun to make sure you get it at the right angle great piece of kit and look how thin it is super easy for storage so you can slide it in somewhere like that or like that so this is my air fryer and that's plugged into this and it's running away happily it's taking 891 watts currently but i can cook some chips in this in 20 minutes you can cut great fish fingers in this you can do all sorts with an air fryer and if you get a low wattage one like this this will power it no problem whatsoever and there's enough power in this to get a meal out of it and then you could charge it up again from the sun when you're not using it so you've got two sockets the both the sockets together will give you the maximum output so you, you can't have 1500 watts out of that and 1500 watts out of that but if these are 800 watts or less than you can start to balance out what you can put into this to run two things at the same time so with all power units of this size and bigger i test them in my off-grid setup in the cottage so we'll just nip back to the cottage and check it in the off-grid system there quick test in our cottage so we have this off-grid power system set up so we have a transfer switch here that transfers from the mains to a generator and that's linked to a 30 amp plug so i'll just plug the jackery into that so we 
switch the jackery on, switch the AC on, and then this transfer switch takes the outside mains into the fuse box or if we flick the switch we tear it off and then we can switch it over to a generator and it's a good test to see if it blows the household fuses when you swatch it over because that's down to the quality of the actual inverter in the unit. So we switch everything off and we switch over to the generator. And it's ranking up there. Nothing's clicked off and everything's still working. So that proves it's a good inverter win this. Let's swap it across to the mains again. It's a great setup that because we get lots of power cuts we live on top of a hill in the middle of the North York Boys National Park and if it's bad weather the power tends to go off. So having this system here I can plug any generator into it to give us lights and run various things around the house through the fuse box. The Jackery app easy to connect to, shows you how much power you got, the percentage, um, it would show you how much power's going in, how much power's going out from the AC and the DC and you can switch the AC and the DC on, you can switch the light on and its various functions and um, you can switch the time off for the display on here as well. That switches it off completely, two minutes or two hours. And that's just switching between these. Real simple, straightforward app. And of course you can get software updates and a lot more information from it as well. But that just means you can actually put the Jackery unit away in the garage of a camper van and use it remotely from the app. So there we have it, Jackery's latest 1000 Explorer, the V2. There's probably four Jackery Explorers out there and they've evolved over the years and this is the latest version that's just come out. In the description there will be a link to their website and if I've been sent a discount code I think these are coming on offer if I get a discount code there might be an offer just for this or with this in the panel or for both of them separately but check the description code that'll take you to the website and it'll give you all the specifications and all the information you need to know and they'll also put any offers and information that I've been sent from Jackery in the description for, for you to have a look at. But that just leaves me to say thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. I better take them two for a wander, aren't I? Just starting to edit this video, but we've come out in the sun. It's a little bit hot today. But there you go. The other thing as well is if you can get one of these, this is a MacBook Pro. If you can get one of these 12 volt power supplies for a MacBook Pro, this will run a laptop and it'll run it through the USB-C and fast charge it through that, through the main sockets, the AC. But these are super efficient as well because these use low power and don't use a lot of power in your power pack. Uh -huh.